to live outside the law, you must be honest. Isn't that, piece, that's logopia, dance of the intellect among words. Witty, incisive, sharp, shrewd use of language. To live outside the law, you must be honest. That's good as logopia. And that's something that everybody knows. See, there's no picture there, except maybe outside suggesting some space. There's no picture there, it's all generalization. But as generalization used so freshly and originally, the words recombined so curiously, <laughs> that curiously, I guess that would be the right word. The words combined so curious, recombined so curiously that it actually does take on a fresh, incisive meaning that alters people's minds and makes them get to another space or clarifies their confusion. that I would read tonight because I have the oldies I can read the oldies and the oldies I know will make it for me I can be funny with my oldies or I can be serious with my oldies I know it'll pass the shot what I want to do is do a new number and see if it works alright and see how I can break it down so what I'm going to do is read it to you and while reading see while I'm doing that I'll cross things out I just can't do it on the blackboard here we go this would be the poem that I would read as a new poem this eve. Daybreak and the night goes on. Wintry wails down from the Yukon. Who's crossing the ocean now that the port of it is gone? Shut your ass, man. I'm reading a fucking poem. Would you close the door, please? <laughs> All right. Now, you get that one that I'm told you. you got to catch this very clear. And I don't think you can get a poem that's read to you on the first shot. Okay, then he goes on to talk there about something that that, uh, that also seems vital, um, uh, which is the difference between English and American uh, in our writing. Uh, he considers, I mean, he's writing and saying that English is a foreign language in America, right? Now that couldn't be more true <laughs> in a logical sense. Yeah. Uh, uh, and then he's, he, uh, he's talking about the relationship between the English mind and the American mind. He considers the American mind to be totally abstract, right? And the English mind to be totally concrete. Uh, and like uh, all of us English and American people have to use the same language, which is a very peculiar situation. 